aluminum. A very useful metal indeed. Light. Good structural material. It's hard to believe that aluminum actually is very reactive with the atmosphere. In fact, elemental aluminum cannot be found. Once it is produced electrolytically, however, it forms a very thin oxide covering and hence protects itself. The most useful ore of aluminum is cryolite, which is sodium aluminum fluoride. This sample is from Greenland. If you melt this rock, then you can electrolyze it and form elemental aluminum easily. This process was first discovered by Hall and Heru of the United States and of France. A very common mineral of aluminum is aluminum oxide, which is corundum. Very hard, has a hardness of nine, almost as hard as diamond. And if you look at this closely, you can see that it's beginning to resemble something very valuable. In purer form, it looks like this. It's called ruby corundum because getting purer now, it's getting redder. Look at the beautiful hexagonal crystal it's found in. This is actually crude ruby, because ruby is aluminum oxide. Here's another sample of ruby. See the red crystals? This sample is from India. The red color is imparted by traces of chromium. And without the chromium, the material is clearless, and then it's called sapphire. Sapphire is aluminum oxide. Notice it again is hexagonal and crystalline form. Here's artificial corundum or aluminum oxide. See the beautiful platelets? Of course, this is not gem quality at all. And because this has a hardness of 9, it can be used in carborundum sandpaper. It can be easily made, but the gem quality is very difficult to make.